Well, here's my uh, 1648 Alumocraft mod. Uh, pretty well finished. I still have to put uh, straps so I can lift up easier. Uh, gas tank is going to go right there. Anchor compartment. Uh, more storage. Uh, electrical is under there. Uh, it is hinged, but I, I have it uh, bolted closed. Uh, one bolt to take it out. So it doesn't flop around when we're driving it down the road. I figured this storage for... Uh, Oh, raincoat and things of that nature. Live well. Um, Tinboats.net. I uh, saw a mod where a guy used these offset uh, posts uh, for his um, seats, and and that solved any issue for foot room here. Um, and I can move it out of the way for opening up the live well and I can utilize some of the space um, you know when we're not using it as much it's the front deck uh, with two storage storage spots I don't have the battery quite hooked up yet but that's where the battery for the trolling motor is going to be hooked up right down there I had to build this elevated mount or elevated deck uh, for my trolling motor mount and uh, it worked uh, fairly decently. This is uh, actually a stowaway and nav lights which I have stowed in here here's the battery charger I don't have it uh, I don't have it mounted yet but it's gonna go right there on the side I think just more storage another anchor Um, I bought another offset actually uh, for this pin, the forward uh, seat, um, and uh, that works ideal um, for getting out of the way um, of the trolling motor when I uh, put it up, so it'll swing right out of the way. Here's the uh, captain's seat. As you can tell, I have a oh a quick release mount here from Gill Hunter. That was his idea, so that's kind of nice. These things this makes the, lets the seat come come right off, and it snaps right back into place. My live well. Again, you can just open up the small door. Um, I've got actually a bait tamer coming um, that flo will flo float in the uh, in the live well. So that's what I'll use this side for. And then, of course, there's the uh, full side. Let me swing that out of the way so I can open it all the way up. I've just got my metal bucket stored in here for now for travel. But here's my live well. And I believe uh -huh. 
that's the live well light. I have to get used to where all the lights are. The fill valve, aerator intake, uh, aerator. I'm going to reconfigure that uh, to um, go up underneath the lip here a little bit a little bit better. I don't like it sticking out in the middle, even though it, pro it would probably work just fine. And then, of course, that's the plug for the drain. Sitting at the captain's chair, trolling motor control right here for the trolling motor up front. My net sits off to the side. I might have to do something to fill in those uh, those voids because uh, when I drop something in there, it's gonna disappear and it's gonna be there till the end of days. Got my uh, hummingbird. that up here nothing to see there somehow it's 7.8 feet here that's news to me And I got all my switches, even got a uh, auxiliary plug-in for whatever, cell phone, spotlight, whatever you need, rear bilge, uh, live well pump, um, that's the fill, that's the aerator, that's the light for the live well, and then of course we got uh, nav and uh, and, and um, anchor lights as well um, so anyways that's my mod and uh, like I said it, it's uh, for the most part I guess you could say it's complete I have enjoyed the project immensely thanks for watching